So, it's Paul from Non Apple Fan. Cheap graphics cards are here. Are here, are here, are here, are here. These 1070s are going for around 250 to 300 euro, depending on where you buy them, depending on where you are. You can get a 1070 now in the United States of America, the UK and Ireland. They're the only places I've checked so far, but you can get one for 250, 250. Man, that is crazy. This is an aftermarket one to pay 250 for it. Uh, you're talking, is this card relevant in 2018? Absolutely, as long as you're not playing anything over 1440p. It will play all of your AAA titles, your Far Cry 5s and all that stuff, 1440p, about 60 frames a second. Anything below that, absolutely smash it over 100 frames a second out of the ballpark. If you're playing at 1080p, it will kill everything. All right, it will annihilate everything. Absolutely brilliant card, absolutely brilliant uh, performance. You know the story with my, my 1070, the reason why I got rid, got rid of it. However, I did say that I would buy, if I was going to buy one ever again, I would buy one second hand. I wouldn't buy one at retail because I wouldn't give NVIDIA my bloody money. So this is not, I'm not going to keep this. It's going in a build and then I'm going to sell it off. So that's why that's bought. Um, but yeah, GTX 1070, very good prices. Some other prices, I've not, I've seen a Vega 64 today for 350. If you get a Vega 64 for 350, that card's around, it's not... Let's be honest. Let's be truthful here. It doesn't beat a 1080. But I can't find a 1080 for 350. So, you know. And it's around it. It's around that performance. Kind of close. So, if you're looking for cards and you can find it a 64. Some of them are not as expensive still. It's like 700 quid. But I did find one for 350 and one for 400. 400 is too much, in my opinion. Because that's, you know, you're knocking around where the second-hand 1080s are going for. But the best bargain for me is this one. Or the 980 Ti's. Um, I'm just going to do a quick check for 980 Ti's again. But I think I've seen 980 Ti's knocking around the 250 mark as well. And to be honest, there's not really that much in it. Mm, GTX 980 Ti. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, like they're knocking around the same price. Actually, some of them are more expensive than 1080 Ti, 1070. So if you can't get it for cheaper than 250 i wouldn't buy a 980 ti because to be honest i know this one has two a pins but this will run with one a pin uh most 1080s uh, most 1070s need one a pin if the 1080 needs one a pin then this only needs one a pin so yeah one a pin power connector that whereas a 980 i think it's a six and an eight or is it but most aftermarket ones have two eights and it kind of won't run without two eights in, even though they don't need that much power. So it's kind of strange. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, but the flood has started. It started. The, the GPUs are there. I find that AMD cars are still holding their value a lot more than um, and then uh, NVIDIA cards. Uh, GTX 1060s are coming down as well. But what I find is that the higher end ones, uh, like so if I look up 1060s, right? Uh, you're getting the three gigabyte ones really, really cheap. But like you know you're spending spend around 150 around that that kind of price 130 for them but then you're looking at you know for the the, the, the six gig models you're looking at 200 250 is that worth it it's up to you i i really don't i would 200 i wouldn't pay for a gtx for a two-year-old card i just wouldn't pay it used for a two uh year old card the hd or the rx i always type in rx 480s i am just refresh remember 200 again uh, no, not worth it. You want you want one. There's one here for one seven nine. I argue that you need to be around two fifty, the one fifty mark for them to be worth it. Uh, the however, the four seventies and the five seventies. I wonder what they are like at the moment. I checked all these prices. I just want to refresh my memory before I am. Um, yeah, so four seventies around the one forty ish mark. At that price, I'd probably buy a 10, a 1063 gigabyte. They're a little bit faster. Uh, but if you can get a 10, if you can get an RX 4, and if you can get an RX 470 or 570 for under 200, for under 140 euro, it's a good buy. 1060s, to be honest, even that extra gigabyte of RAM makes sense because if you got a, if you got a game that hits that, that 3 gig uh, VRAM buffer, even though the card itself, the, the core is a little bit faster than the four se four seventies and five seventies. A little bit. People are going to argue. They're going to hear. Com this is what happens when you say something that's true, but people don't like it. They get all. Oh, 
Uh, but the fact of the matter is, the 1060 is a little bit fa The 1063 gigabyte is a little bit faster than the 470. Just a little bit, right? But if you hit that VRAM buff, that three gigabyte buffer, and you go over it, your card it doesn't matter what card you have, you'd start begin to lose frames. So that's what happens. So for me, 470 four gigabytes free VRAM buffer it's probably all I would it's probably like the bare minimum for me in 2018 so I would probably prioritize a 470 or 570 over a t 3 gigabyte uh, 1060 the, the the problem with the problem with right now is what happens is all of these this this tier of cards has dropped in price so you're looking at like a 1080 Ti is around 500 and 600 euro uh you know a 1080 is around 500 to 400 euro in that around you know depending on what kind of aftermarket when it is how well how overclocked it was how much it is new and kind of that kind of prices the, the the 1080 but it's dropped significantly in price down to around 400 euro and then the 1070s are down around the 300 to 250 mark that's like a bargain if you get 250 buy it now seriously uh but um the other stuff like the 480s and the 580s they really haven't dropped in price i don't know why uh, I would say it's because they're more popular. That's kind of the amount of money people have. But if you can get one of these for two fifty, and a brand new RX four eighty or five eighty is fucking uh, two fifty, like it's a no brainer. This card is like sixty seventy percent faster than those cards. So ten seventy, absolutely recommend it. Can't believe how cheap these are going for. This is an aftermarket uh, amp edition. Got it off a friend. Now I have to clear completely clear and transparent with that. There was no illegal dealings. We went on, we looked at we looked on, on adverts and they were going for around 280 and he said 250 and I was happy with 250 and he was happy with 250. So and when I say they're going for that was the asking price. So we knew I could get one for 250 because uh, the way adverts works in Ireland is usually people list stuff for about 50 euro more than it will actually go for. So right now on adverts there's 300 euro 10 1070s and realistically they're only getting offers for 250 nobody pays your asking price people actually deliberately put a little bit more asking price on because they're willing to accept less just so to stop the gougers you know people coming in lowballing and 99 percent of your offers are like half of what they're supposed to be but anyway that's that so that that this to me is the pick right now um in in gaming it's not as fast as 1080 but it's also way faster than what we were paying when a 254 uh like six months ago so to have that level of performance at the one at the 250 mark is a very 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 compelling price some people would argue that we should be getting 1080 performance now for uh that price i think that the gtx 2060 when it comes out i don't think it's going to come out for a while i think they're going to leave pascal to run con uh, you know coherently with uh, concurrently with uh um with the rtx stuff so i think i think turing and pascal are going to run concurrently pascal is going to be serving them the, the low end until they run out of stock and when they run out of stock then they're going to launch the 20 series stuff so i think the 2060 will not be as fast as this card I think it will be slightly slower than this card. So if you pick this up now, and I don't think it'll have ray tracing. Might have tensor cores. Haven't seen anything to say it will or won't. Might have tensor cores, don't know. But, um, if, and if it does, that means it'll do the DLSS stuff. But then they say that RTX, that's all the RTX technology. So anyway, I don't think it will have it all. I think, I think that this is a fantastic buy right now because it won't actually be old by the time you get a 2060 if you're looking at 2060 prices. And I think that the 2060 will be very expensive, like we're talking, because the launch price of the 1060 was 300 founders edition, so it could be 350, 400. Because remember, the price of entry is 600 euros so there's a huge price <laughs> price to be made up and amd is nowhere so like amd has nothing to launch that will come in at that price range so yeah if you're if you're looking for value now i just can't see past the 1070 for value uh if you could get a vega 56 for 250 i'd be saying buy that but the, the vegas are just still too expensive like as i said the cheapest vega i could find was 350 it was a 64 and it was a, like a reference design the aftermarket stuff still up around the 400 quid for 56 which is crazy money considering you can get this much performance it's like when we when we talk about this card out of the box right this card out of the box factory overclocks itself to 2000 megahertz there you can't overclock this other than the memory 
because there's nothing else left in it. This card, for some reason, whatever AMD did when it, when they launched it, it like it it does mad shit to its clock speed and never hits its its boost clock. So you have to jiggery pokery with it to get it. To, so I would call that overclocking to get it to hit its boost clock, and then you can get a little bit beyond the boost clock, and then you can overclock the memory. So this overclocked stomps all over this right but this out of the box and this out of the box this because it already overclocks itself up to fucking 2000 megahertz there's nothing in it so why is this 400 euro do you know what i mean that's that's my and the reason why it's 400 euros because it's got hbm2 on it it costs a shit ton of money to make the die on it is about twice the size of the die on this that's why it costs that much money to make because it's just too expensive to manufacture. That's why it's cost so much now. Uh, like with AMD, with Nvidia, when they launch a card, like the Turing stuff, their dies cost probably like in the magnitude of like 60, 70 quid for the Turing stuff. I'd say like the 10, 2080 probably costs maybe 68, 70 quid for the die. And then the GDDR6 probably costs about 80 or 90 quid. So that'll give you an example of the price. Whereas this stuff, the die probably costs around the same. But then, and to be honest, because it's lower volume, it probably costs actually more. And then uh, the GDDR, the HBM costs like up, upwards of 120, 230, 140, anywhere prices, because the, the HBM is crazy prices. So that's the problem. This thing costs about 200 quid for just the die and the, the HBM, whereas this thing costs about 120, 130 quid for the die. Well, sorry, the Turing stuff does. So. That's what makes, like, you know what I mean? That's why they can, like, when NVIDIA launched those, it's all profit margin. These things, these guys are making fuck all profit on these. That's why they're so expensive. That's why NVIDIA can give you this, this stuff for so cheap now. The 1070, my pick, or the 980 Ti, because it's the same level of performance. You just need more power connectors. Anyway, you guys, like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. If you disliked it, tell me why you disliked it. Can't fix it if I don't know what I did wrong. And in the comments, Tell me what deals you're getting. I love to hear deals. I love to hear people getting cards that they wouldn't have normally gotten. And the fact that the best, the silver lining from the Turing thing and Turing being so expensive is the fact that all of these cards have come down in price. I would say make your moves now or just after lunch because I think when stock starts to get low again, the prices will take it up again. Um, because Nvidia, yeah. But like just, yeah. Pick up, pick up, pick up some cards. Like, it annoyed me when I heard people saying, oh, the prices will go up. Uh, I think for the 1080 Ti, it's probably as good as it's going to get. I really think that. I think that stock is low at 1080 Ti. They end of life that a while ago. So, I think what you've got there is what you've got. I think the 1080 and the 1070. I don't even know if they've stopped making them. Shh. It's conspiracy theory. But I don't know whether they've stopped making them. So, yeah. Anyway. Do all the like, comment, subscribing stuff. Uh, share and I'll talk to you later. Bye 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 bye. Press this button. Stop recording.